Without a doubt, Louise Bourgeois is one of the most important artistic voices of the last century. Spread across four decades, this group of works is really a wonderful overview of Louise Bourgeois' production, starting in the 1960s through to the very end of her life when she was still making extraordinary works of art. Really, there's no one else like her. Louise Bourgeois was born in France at the turn of the century. Her family owned a tapestry repair workshop, so they'd be repairing tapestries in big sort of grand chateaus. She absolutely adored her mother. She saw her as a really strong character. And her father was difficult. He was philandering. He even had an affair with Bourgeois' live-in English tutor, which was hugely traumatic. As an artist, she really drew from her emotion. You can trace it back to those kind of nascent traumas in childhood. She was in psychoanalysis for 50 years, and that played a massive part in her production. She sublimated her emotions and her feelings and her psychological traumas into works of art. The three works we have as part of the cross-category evening auction come from European collectors who amassed this wonderful compendium of works that really speak to the whole spectrum of her career. The first sculpture is a torso self-portrait. It's kind of totemic in her arrival as an artist in the 1960s. It's a self-portrait, but it's a self-portrait like you've never really seen before. And it's really bourgeois thinking about how she sees herself, sort of her dissatisfaction with her own body. It's very much like an armor plate, and it's very protective, it's very sort of militant, and there's a real dialogue going on there with how she felt as a mother, how she felt towards her own mother, and also how she felt as a female artist. Faye Couturier from the same period, also a self-portrait. She made this work in plaster, first of all, and it was later cast in a bronze edition, which we see here today. This work really does speak to that organic aesthetic and thinking about motherhood and the birth of a child and, and how it formed inside the belly almost. It's almost like an egg sac, this work. It invites you to kind of explore the crevices, explore the openings and the abysses that you see. The theme of hysteria and concept of hysteria is a really important one for bourgeois and it goes back to Sigmund Freud and his teacher Jean-Martin Charcot. He identified hysteria as a psychological, neurological disease, mostly afflicted to women. And this is something that bourgeois has always been interested in, but most prominently came to the fore in her work of the 1990s, when she made this incredible bronze, shiny arch of hysteria. And then you see that same form and that same idea being replicated in works later on in her late production. So in the 2000s, when she started to create works with fabric, and again looking back to her childhood memories of working in the tapestry repair workshop, she made these amazing stuffed figures you can see in this wonderfully visceral, yet soft and stitched together figure from 2003. And alongside those three, we've got other works which are being offered in the contemporary art sale. The two wonderful gouache works on paper that we have are Good Mother, Bad Mother. And these really do explicitly evoke themes of motherhood and ambivalent motherhood. Bourgeois was a mother herself and she found it difficult. It was never always just the warm, comforting idea that we historically associate with notions of motherhood. Motherhood can be aggressive, it can be unloving, it can be full of rejection. That definitely comes to the fore in these two amazing works on paper that we have. For a collector, these works really do offer just a glimpse of the work of one of the most important artists of the last century. Equal, in my eyes, to Francis Bacon, equal in importance to the psychological expressionistic paintings that he made. These works really do offer the grand spectrum, the grand arc of bourgeois production.